Birds are generally pretty, with their feathers and amazing abilities, either on land, air, or water. Some of them are actually avatars as they possess abilities for all habitats. And let's be honest, birds are the last animals on your list to be considered dangerous. Well, you'd be surprised at how dangerous most of these birds can get, even the smaller ones. Some are said to be poisonous and some are so aggressive that they can even kill. It's just a quick reminder that these creatures come from a long line of dinosaur ancestry and should not be messed with, or they could easily bring out that side of them. From poison carriers to the symbol of America, here are 20 dangerous birds you should run away from. Number 20. Bearded Vulture the bearded vulture, as the name implies, you can notice the tiny beard sticking out from under its beak. This humongous bird can grow up to at least 4 feet. Coupled with its yellow and red eyes and dull red feathers, this species looks like something that came out of Jurassic Park nightmares. Now, this is what the most dangerous bird in the world can do. These birds were initially known to be extremely dangerous and were considered a threat when people were made to believe that they caught and killed babies and livestock. Now that's actually terrifying. However, it later came to everyone's notice that these birds don't steal babies or livestock. Their size just so happened to be large enough to actually lift a lamb or fly off a few months old babies. I don't know who came up with that, but it's not true. The bearded vulture only feeds on dead animals. And not just dead animals, one dead long enough for the bones to be dried out. More so, these birds as young hatchlings are usually put through the survival of the fittest test between their own siblings, which is somewhat similar to that of the murderer shoebill bird. But putting all these terrifying facts aside, the bearded vulture also stands out for a good number of beautiful qualities that make it different from other abs. For one, they're pretty intelligent animals due to the fact that they can leave their meals unattended for a long time without any other animals going near them. How, you ask? Well, no one's gonna wanna go after a bunch of bones, don't you think? So in the end, they'll have a full serving of untouched bones. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Cassowary. Ostriches are dangerous, and so is an emu, but the cassowary brings out the true definition of runaway, or don't especially when you've already been caught. But if you're as fast as the Usain Bolt, then run for your life. This bird is so bad that the whole world considers it the most dangerous, but of course not being friendly is what always makes an animal so dangerous. So what makes the cassowary dangerous? Cassowaries may be shy and are extremely difficult to spot, at least in their natural rainforest habitats. They aren't overly aggressive, and reports of attacks are usually very rare. But that can do quite the damage if they're provoked or angered. Occasional attacks have so far been reported that have been proven to be fatal, including a recent one that happened in 2019 at a private collection of caged birds in Florida. It's very easy to notice the fact that these birds came from a long line of dinosaur ancestors. The largest of these species can stand up to at least 6 feet and weigh a total of 160 pounds. They can't fly, but with their extremely powerful legs, it can be propelled at high speeds. They're also known to be excellent swimmers and can move like a flash on both land and water. Their speed was measured to be as fast as 31 miles per hour as seen in the rainforests. Number 18. Emu Another dangerous bird species to add to the list is the emu. There are large, shy, flightless birds from the Casuridae family, which makes them cousins of the cassowaries. And just like its cousin, it ranks among the world's largest birds and is the third tallest and third heaviest. This bird species is known for its large claws and broad beaks, which is surprisingly not hard because it was modified by evolution for grazing plants rather than tearing meat. But despite that, I wouldn't want you to experience what it's like to encounter these birds. In other words, keep a safe and far distance if you wish to observe one. So just to identify the fact that they are dangerous, I can say that they are not as dangerous as their relatives, the cassowaries, or the ostriches. But just like many birds, emus are prone to territoriality, especially during the breeding season. So if certainly provoked, they will attack and you won't be spared. But most of their attacks only result in superficial wounds, unlike the ostriches or cassowaries, which are more frequently linked to the attacks and occasional fatalities. Number 17. Great Horned Owl 
They are indeed great, and they do have horns, so there's nothing to explain about their names. These birds prefer to hunt at night, but would occasionally be seen during the day hunting for food. They are known for their incredible eyesight and hearing, which has been much of the help to them when targeting prey. They'd either catch the prey with their talons or take it into a safe location to avoid the competition. The horns on their heads are actually not horns or ears or even feathers. They're called plumicorns, and the exact function of these plumicorns is still unknown. My guess is that it helps with camouflage. For description, we can say that these birds are indeed works of art with their reddish brown, gray, and black facial disc and that white throat patch that complements their molted gray, brown, and white feathers. Not to mention the light feathers covering their legs and feet. Now why exactly are the birds considered dangerous? their talons, which you'd want to avoid at all costs. In fact, you won't even dare to encounter them because they won't wait to be noticed or agitated before they launch an attack. The talons are said to exert at least a force of 500 pounds per square inch on your skin and we know that means severe injury. Number 16. Red-tailed hawk. The red-tailed hawks are dangerous to humans in many different ways. How? Well, they can be dangerous if you encounter them nesting season. And they can also spread diseases that could be transmitted to humans. But in the case of a flight or an encounter, it always ends up with minor injuries like cuts and scrapes like you just came out of a nasty cat fight. Are red-tailed hawks dangerous to humans? Hawks can be dangerous to humans if they come near hawk nests during the nesting season. Hawks can also spread diseases that might be transmitted to humans. However, most conflicts between hawks and humans result in only minor injuries like cuts and scrapes. They are the most common hawk species in the whole North of America, and through the years of observation, they can easily mold themselves into any habitat, but they prefer to open habitats. They are great hunters and are popular for their amazing eyesight, which is a several times that of a normal human being. This is to say that these birds can spot a mouse half a mile away. 2006 had the most record of attacks from the red-tailed hogs, who were said to have assaulted 30 or more people in the village of Green Golf Course in Woodridge, Illinois. Number 15. Great Northern Loon. The Great Northern Loon, also known as the Great Northern Diver or Common Loon, happens to be a large member of the Loon or Diver family of Av. In North America, it's preferably called the Common Loon, but in Eurasia, it's referred to as the Great Northern Diver. This is merely a compromise proposed by the International Ornithological Committee. The adults can range in size from anywhere between 61 to 100 centimeters in length with a 100 to 152 centimeters 4 to 5 foot wingspan. They are known to be slightly smaller than the similar yellow-billed loon or white-billed diver, and their weight can vary from 1.6 to 8 kilograms, which is equivalent to 3.6 to 17.6 pounds. The breeding adults are known to have a black head, white underparts, and a black and white checkered mantle. In comparison, the non-breeding plumage is brownish with the chin and foreneck white. These species, like all divers, love eating fish and have a knack for catching their prey underwater, diving as deep as 200 feet, which should be around 60 meters. <laughs> Their freshwater diets consist of pike, perch, sunfish, trout, and bass. Saltwater diets consist of rockfish, flounder, sea trout, and herring. Although they rarely come ashore except to nest, which is when they can become dangerous to humans. They have a sharp dagger-like beak, and if they do feel threatened, they won't hesitate to use their beak as a spear, delivering a blow to their victim's head, neck, and eyes. The Great Northern Loon has so far been reported to inflict severe damage with the speed of strikes. They are indeed formidable birds in the water and on land. Number 14. The Australian Magpie from the name, you can tell that these birds are familiar to Australians. They come from a species called the butcher bird. Generally, these birds are quite tamed, but some individuals tend to get aggressive during the breeding season, especially to those who venture too close to their nests or anywhere near. They are also very territorial, so they won't hesitate to attack humans and their fellow magpies who pose a threat to their young. The Australian magpie females usually lay about 3 to 5 blue or green brown blotched eggs, which have an incubation time of 20 days. The chicks are, as usual, fed by their mother and have feathers that prepare them for flight as early as 4 weeks. and within two years all the aggressiveness will be expelled as the young magpies are forced by their parents to leave the territory. Other than that, I also found that these birds tend to swoop down with a fast warning flight whenever they perceive humans as a threat, and some of the magpies are said to swoop down on some specific people for reasons I know nothing of. I sure hope I'm not one of them though. Apart from its widespread distribution, magpies do not occur in some places in Australia. The familiarity was actually thought to be due to its pleasant caroling song which is such an essential part of the Australian soundscape, and for its tendency to swoop at people during its springtime nesting season as earlier mentioned. Number 13. Yellow-Bellied Oxpecker we are all familiar with the oxpeckers that usually hang out on the backs of animals like rhinos. So basically, oxpeckers are commonly seen and known as gobbling ticks that leech onto the backs of African mammals. Far from being welcome guests, recent studies have shown that these birds are vampires that tend to dig into their hosts and reach their preferred blood. However, most mammals seem to have developed a tolerance for the wound as the cost of this pest control service. Yellowbills find their habitats in tree holes that they line with their hair plugged from their hosts, and by the host, I mean the animals to which they latch on. Those yellowbills that are not partaking in breeding season will spend the night 
roosting on the mammal that serves them their meal. But as earlier mentioned, their preferred food is blood. And while they may eat up the ticks bloated with blood, they also feed on it directly, sometimes pecking at the animal's wounds until blood starts flowing. But whatever the net result, mammals generally tolerate ox peckers even if they prove to be dangerous sometimes. Number 12. Quail. Quail is a collective name used for several genre of mid-sized birds generally placed in the order of galliforms, and reports show that some people eat quails. Both Old World and New World quail include species that are edible. The common quail was initially much preferred in French cooking, but quail for the table are usually now more likely to be the domesticated Japanese quail. The common quail is also part of some other cuisines like Polish cuisine, Maltese cuisine, Portuguese cuisine, Italian cuisine, Mexican and Indian cuisine. Quail are also less stressful to eat as they are commonly eaten complete with the bones since they have soft bones that can easily be chewed. And the small size of the bird makes it inconvenient to take them out during preparation. But little do they know that quail have fed on the hemlock. Probably during migration may induce kidney injury due to the accumulation of toxic substances from the hemlock seed in the meat. This problem is referred to as cortunism. In case you're wondering what coturnism is and how dangerous it can be, it is an intoxication due to quail consumption which is quite readily seen. Such a toxicological syndrome is said to occur during the migration of quails from north to south when they consume hemlock seeds. The clinical symptoms and laboratory results indicate a condition called acute rhabdomyolysis. An acute rhabdomyolysis can be lethal due to renal failure and shock, but to avoid severe complications, coturnism may be considered if the history is appropriate. Number 11. Spur-winged goose. The spur-winged goose is a species of relatively large cousins of geese and shell ducks, but what makes it different is a number of anatomical features, which differs from that of its relatives, and thus they are treated as their own subspecies. These birds also happen to be the largest African waterfowl and, on average, the world's largest goose. Spur-winged geese are very fast at flying and can reach top speeds of over 130 kilometers per hour. Now they may be and look like your standard goose species, but they are not at all like them. I'm saying this because studies prove that the African variety has spurs on its wings that could be poisonous. Duh, do you think I was joking when I said not your standard goose species? But hold your horses and don't start panicking because I said poison much like being stung or hit and then you die a horrible death. Absolutely not. When I said poisonous, I meant a toxin that these creatures pick up from their diet, which then gets stored in their tissues. So if you love eating ducks, I'd suggest you stay away from this type of bird in particular. And even though I'm not sure that the poison could be fatal, it could be a pretty horrible experience, so don't even get curious about it. It's poisonous, and that's all you need to know. Number 10. Barred Owl Bored owls spend their entire life in mixed woods with big trees, frequently close to water. Because old woodland support a greater variety of prey and are more likely to have sizable cavities ideal for nesting, they frequently exist in big unbroken blocks of mature forest. They may be found in hemlock, maple, oak, hickory, beech, aspen, white spruce, quaking aspen, balsam poplar, douglas fir, lodgepole pine, or western larch, and their favorite habitats, which vary from swamps to stream sites to uplands. The silent apex predator in the sky is the barred owl. They have beaks that are equally as sharp as their talons. Barred owls can fly around anything at top speeds and are also nimble. However, the fact that they have no fear of anything makes them the most harmful to people. They feel at home in our backyards and are scared off by people's presence like so many other raptors are. As a result, conflicts between people and barred owls frequently occur. Numerous reports of assaults and injuries have surfaced. Until the person departs their territory, they frequently return. The only bird in the North America suspected of murder is this one. Number 9. Hooded Pitahui After doing research, my mind is having a hard time grasping the idea of a toxic bird. However, one such deadly bird is the Hooded Pitahui. It's the only bird that science has found that is genuinely poisonous and can only be found in New Guinea. The toxic substance on the Hooded Pitahui, Batrytotoxin, is the same chemical as in the lethal frogs. Some of these birds were discovered in a net in the woods of New Guinea in 1989 by a biologist by the name of Jack Dumbacher. He had placed it up for research and he had to detangle wildlife frequently. He was releasing the birds from the net, he sliced his hands. He discovered, nevertheless, that the cuts hurt so much more than they ought to. His mouth began to burn and he put his sliced finger in his mouth to soothe the wound. The villagers called this bird the rubbish bird because eating it was bad. The researcher would soon learn. Basically, they dismissed it as rubbish because it didn't serve a function for them. Sure enough, when Dumbacher sent samples to his lab, they discovered the batrytotoxin in the bird's feathers. Both scientists and researchers were both shocked when the deadly birds were found. Officially, this was the first venomous bird ever discovered. Number 8. Vampire Finch Most people associate the word vampire with Dracula. 
Vampire bats from South America or perhaps slayers like Blade or Buffy. Few people would recall the finch, a little but really charming bird. The public was first introduced to vampire finches, however, in a wonderful episode of Perfect Planet, the new series broadcast by David Attenborough for the BBC. These birds feed on the blood of much larger birds. These finches didn't need an introduction to us because we have researched them in depth. The Galapagos Islands are a volcanic archipelago about 1,000 kilometers 600 miles off the coast of Ecuador, where these birds can be found. The island's remoteness contributes to their status as a hotspot for biodiversity. If an organism makes it into the Galapagos, it must endure the hostile environment there is in order to survive. Finches began to coexist alongside the huge seabirds that nest on Wolf and Darwin Islands, like red-footed and Nazca bobies. At some point in the past half million years, which is recent in evolutionary terms, it appears that finches have developed over time to eat parasites that were found in the boobies' feathers and on their skin. The boobies benefited from the parasites being removed, while the finches gained by having a substitute for their typical diet of nectar, seeds, and insects, which can decrease during the dry season. This was an example of mutualism in action, but eventually the removal of the parasites caused the boobies' skin lesions to become open, allowing the finches finches to feed on the blood. The finches even developed the ability to penetrate the skin at the base of developing feathers in order to obtain a blood without the aid of insect parasites. As a result, the finches profited from a different food source, blood from boobies, and gained the moniker Vampire Finches. Number 7. Bald Eagle the symbol of America, the bald eagle, is a species popularly associated with the Americans. Sadly, these birds have been listed alongside the endangered species. In all honesty, bald eagles still need the protection of their habitat for nesting, feeding, and roosting to avoid losing valued species like that. Their populations are also required to be monitored for at least 20 years in order to maintain and enhance their recovery to date. Sadly, after delisting funds are likely to be much available for these vital needs, but the truth remains that bald eagles are predators, which should never be taken lightly. Like every other bird species on the list, these eagles are known to brutally attack anyone who tries to come close to their hatchlings or their nests, or even anywhere close. They might be the symbol of America, but they do have reports of attacks on humans, so I think it's the best to just generally generally avoid contact with any of them. Number 6. Peregrine Falcon the peregrine falcons are more powerful and fast-flying birds that hunt medium-sized birds, drooping down on them from high above in a spectacular swoop. During the middle of the 20th century, they were virtually eradicated from eastern North America by pesticide poisoning. After significant recovery efforts, peregrine falcons have made an incredible comeback and are now regularly seen in many large cities in coastal Arrhenius. seen in many large cities in coastal Arrhenius. With a wingspan of three and a half feet, peregrine falcons are about one and a half feet tall and happen to be the fastest moving creature on the planet, reaching dive speeds of up to 240 miles per hour. Along with their impressive claws and serrated beaks, they are indeed worthy of the title of the ultimate predator. They are actually the most aggressive and regarded as very dangerous as they are responsible for more attacks on humans. And given that they are impressive hunters, they pose a serious threat to humans, like most animals, we are more dangerous to them than they are to us, and they understandably do their best to avoid us. But when avoiding is impossible because we force our presence on them, they may defend their territory, first with intimidation and inevitably with a physical attack. The bigger and more aggressive birds from these species may even be capable of inflicting serious injury. But this is extremely rare as these birds just want to be left alone. Number 5. Harpy Eagle even though few people have actually seen harpy eagles in their natural environment, they are renowned. These massive birds are called after harpies, the terrifying winged animals from Greek mythology with hooked beaks and claws. With feathers on top of its head that flare out into pronounced crest when the bird feels threatened, this dark gray bird of prey has a very striking appearance. Similar to owls, several tiny gray feathers form a face disc that may focus sound waves on enhancing the bird's hearing. Although it is a sad and widespread misunderstanding, harpy eagles do not prey on animals and are not dangerous to people. Every time an adult harpy eagle is shot, it causes a significant loss to the species because they only produce one youngster every three years. However, birds are only known to push threats and be aggressive whenever their hatchlings are involved, just like every other animal species. Number 4. Giant Petrel 
One of the best examples of opportunistic feeders is the giant petrel, which will eat nearly anything that it can fill its stomach. Petrels, unlike other Procellaria die, will also eat on land, primarily carrion. They have a history of attacking and killing other birds by drowning or bashing them to death. This is particularly true of young birds and chicks. They are frequently seen following fishing boats to gather offal or to fish off nets. By choice, giant petrels stay apart until the breeding season. However, they frequently congregate around food sources. When there is a disagreement about food, they can become rather hostile to one another. They eat carrion on land, frequently preying on or scavenging at seal and penguin colonies. They are well renowned for their ferocity and frequently kill other seabirds, particularly penguin chicks, as well as sick or injured adults, which are their preferred prey items. They are also known to eat albatross chicks. Typically, they drown or beat their prey to death to kill them. They consume fish, squid, and krill while while at sea. Number 3. Harris's Hawk the Harris's hawk, a dashing hawk of the desert southwest, stands out for its vivid markings of dark brown, chestnut red, and white, as well as its long yellow legs and yellow spots on its face. These birds cooperate at nests and engage in team-based hunting, making them the most sociable raptors in North America. A flock of hawks will circle the prey during a hunt, flush it for another to catch, or alternatively chase it. Along with humans, these hunting groups also include Harris's hawks. They inhabit trees and lofty buildings buildings, but in recent years, their population has drastically declined. In some areas, their number was still seen to be unaffected by the loss of habitat, whereas Texas contends differently. These strong birds can harass any animal that threatens their nest if left unattended. This breed is mainly noted for its cooperative pack hunting behavior, which contrasts with the solo hunting habits of other raptors. Actually, these birds have been increasingly used in falconry since about 1980. They are now the most popular hawks known in the West outside of Asia for that purpose, as they are one of the easiest to train and the most social. Honestly, they are only dangerous during the breeding season. Number 2. Ostriches the world's largest and swiftest bird is the ostrich. Despite being able to be found in zoos, farms, and other controlled environments all over the world, both of the existing species of the ostrich are native to the African continent. Ostriches are able to move quickly and across great distances because of their strong legs, but they can also kick opponents hard with them. The question is, according to the rumors we have heard, can they murder a person? If cornered, an ostrich might furiously kick out in an effort to protect itself, killing lions and other enormous predators in the process. If it can kill such large predators, then a trespassing human is hopeless. Ostriches are reported to have extremely powerful kicks that are capable of hurting a human and letting them run at speeds of more than 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour. The mother ostrich, who defends her eggs and young at all costs, is particularly vulnerable to attack during the breeding season since ostriches are very cruel and aggressive during that time. But to be completely honest, these birds are unexpected and have a variety of reactions. When provoked, Provoked or threatened, they can be vicious and unexplainably mean. The numerous instances of these land-dwelling birds attacking the most powerful predators in the wild with their viciousness have also been recorded. Number 1. Snowy Owl the snowy owl is a large, strong owl that lives in the high arctic tundra and is camouflage colored during the colder months. It may be nocturnal in the summer, congregating and breeding in areas with large concentrations of the lemming-like tiny ronids. Other times it feeds on a variety of prey, even large birds like geese. Many snowy owls can be seen south of the Canadian border during some winters. Those that stop in towns and cities almost always raise a stir and get media attention. Lemmings, lots of lemmings, are a snowy owl owl's favorite food. An adult may consume 3 to 5 lemmings each day or more than 1,600 lemmings annually. Apart from that, they typically add rabbits, rodents, birds, and occasionally fish to their diets. Although owls don't usually attack people, they won't think twice if they feel threatened or need to defend their territory. Attacks by owls may result in small wounds such as lacerations, bruises, and slight concussions. They typically become hostile when protecting their area or when facing off against another species they have been known to attack arctic wolves. They also dive bomb humans, especially near places where they lay their eggs, and that happens a lot during breeding seasons. That's it for 20 dangerous birds you should run away from. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments section. Also, if you've ever had any encounters with these birds, it'd be fun to know about them, so feel free to share. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.